Burned in St. Paul breaking overnight. Police are sharing new details about the city's 21st homicide of the year. A third of them happening this month alone. The latest case comes just hours after the police department released controversial body camera footage showing the moments before an officer shot and killed a man armed with a knife. More on that in just a moment. But first, let's get to Kaya Edwards. She's live at police headquarters with more on this latest killing. Good morning, Kaya. Good morning. Police overnight updated us starting with that latest homicide investigation. They say a man was shot in the chest and right now investigators do not know who pulled the trigger. This was the scene on Mendota Street, just a few blocks away from Dayton Bluff Elementary School in Dayton, Dayton's Bluff neighborhood. That's east of downtown. Multiple 911 calls came in for reports of shots fired. Officers arrived. They found the man with a gunshot wound. He died on the scene and despite all of this gun violence, police say they're making progress this weekend. In fact, they say they recovered three handguns and successfully saved a life. This all occurred because of the additional resources that have been deployed and dedicated to addressing gun violence in the city of St. Paul. It also allowed our officers to respond quicker when we received information from the community on who was carrying guns in the city of St. Paul. And with that, the police again are asking for your help in this latest case and solving it. If you do have any information, you're asked to contact the homicide unit, homicide unit of the St. Paul Police Department. Guys? Yeah, police in St. Paul, very busy right now. Thanks, Kaya.